This is Bradness 1981. Just doing another unboxing video for Tar Heel Ants. Got my uh, trusty assistant annoying the crap out of me behind the camera. Uh, it is late. It is almost 1 a.m. It's my fault. I kept forgetting to do this earlier today. Um, I've actually had this package for a while, a few days now, um, in my uh, apartment complex's package room. Just, yeah, just other stuff going on. I'm tired. It's been grumpy. But, got two new formicariums. And, like an idiot, I forgot to grab. I'll just do this. That, that's okay. Gotta always remember the trusty Tar Heel Ants popcorn. I'd say at this point, infamous. Mm. That should be good enough. Yeah, typical Nestmates syringe feeder dish, basic stuff that Tar Heel Ants former carriums usually come with. Now these were both uh, pre-made off the website, so these are not custom order. Although one of them is a little unique, it's a, kind of a newer thing that Mac has been doing. I don't mind the big pieces, but these little pieces are... There might be some stuff floating in the box. I'll have to check before I throw it out. Last time when I did the unboxing video, there was a, and I, I expected it, but there was a, a bag of sand at the bottom that I requested. It's just another dark plate. Let's do the first one is the, I believe it's pronounced Casita. And this one's got a Bolshida Museum glass, and the, but this one's got the, the, the higher quality acrylic um, Outworld, also referred to as the MQ box or MQ Outworld or plastic. Not sure what's going to go in these just yet. Um, I got them because, you know, they're a good deal. Um, typically when you purchase the, uh, the uh, pre-made ones, they're, they're a little cheaper. And you also can kind of like get to see what they, what, what you're for sure getting. Versus when you get custom, I mean, Mac does a good job of following, you know, people's orders. But you never know what you get until you get it. So sometimes it's nice to know exactly what you're getting. This one was just a really good deal. So. And surprisingly, it was sitting on the website for a while because I was looking at it for quite a while. So. Heavy. Careful here. Again, everyone complains about the packaging, but the fact that I have yet to get a package that's come broken or anything like that just tells you that even though it's a pain to unpack it, again, it's one of those complaints I'm happy to have each time. It's better than that than to have the deal with shipping with things back or, you know, because I'm sure Mac would make, make things right if anything ever went wrong in the shipping process, but... I'd say what, this is really cool because especially with the museum glass and the fact this is the three-sided, uh, uh, like I said, I believe it's the Casita. Um, it's got two water towers and then the Outworld's pretty simple, but kind of what I wanted. Yeah, this is really nice. I mean, this is, I mean, it's hard to tell on the camera, but this 
because the because it's three sided and it's the museum glass, it's like crystal clear. It's like looking right through it. It's awesome. Don't you think, Jordan? You can speak. It's cameraman. It's, it's nice. It does look sleek. Schmuck. You got the typical magnetic top. Alright, so that's that one. This side. Now this one is a fallen fortress, but it's a little different. Because it's got the, I don't know what Mac is calling on his website. It's basically the, it's the higher um, outworld uh, box. So it's taller. And then I'll show you why in a moment, why it's taller. You're asking why would you, why would Mac put the peanuts inside the outworld? Well, I'll show you the reason for it. Just like I said, there's a reason why the the outworld in itself is taller. Let me sharpen this knife. Again, this is the museum glass. And then for the outworld, this is just just the regular plastic, but again, taller. The reason why it's taller is because of this. Mac did a little elevated uh, platform on this one. I can't remember what he calls it, it's like island or something like that, but yeah, it's real. I think it's really, really cool. And then like a typical fallen fortress, it's got the single water tower. But yeah, that's why it's got the taller outworld is so it can accommodate to put that that little uh, elevated island, or whatever Mac is calling it. It's kind of funny, because in the pictures, like, it said beige. I mean, I don't really care about the color. It's that, that's, you know, um, at this point, especially because they're, they're not permanent homes, because uh, almost every colony would outgrow this eventually. But it's funny, when I looked at it in online, it looked like the terracotta, but it's definitely a, a, a muter. Again, I didn't buy it because of the color. Out of all the choices that, that he had currently with the uh, the um, elevated island, whatever you call it, I just happened to like this setup best. So it just happened to be the color. So, yep. And then another item I got, although it wasn't from Tar Heel Ants, was this. Uh, I think they're it's pronounced respirator. I got it on uh, Amazon for like I don't know twenty. 20, 20, 20, 25 bucks. I know people can make them for like practically nothing, but I didn't feel like buying a bunch of supplies and building it. So, and of course, as soon as I buy this, someone posts on the Target Lance uh, page on Facebook this really fancy cooler model made by someone that's pretty much almost the same price. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll get another one. I don't know, but definitely needed one. So again, this is Bramish1981, just a quick unboxing video. 
Um, and again, as always, if you have any questions, concerns, or any of the comments, go ahead and feel free to leave, leave them below. And uh, hope you all have a great day, weekend, week, whatever.